Hey right guys, Truth Much is Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 25 of Pretty Little Lies Season 5. Uh, we're here. <laughs> we got through definitely the weakest season of Pretty Little Lies so far. Don't want to start off with a negative, but it just has been. There has been good moments in the season overall and I don't think this finale, even though like everyone says this finale is like incredible, I don't know if that's going to be overhyped at this point because literally everyone in comments on YouTube and Patreon uh, have said that episode 25 is a godsend of an episode. So um, I do, I'm not going in with high expectations, but I'll, it, some in some way I will be kind of disappointed if this is like a 7 or something. Uh, I'm hoping for at least an 8. Uh, but yeah, anyway, season 5 overall, I'll do my top 5 characters the, at the end of the, the episode. Uh, even though I do think I have them pretty much in my mind anyway. Uh, and yeah, I'd say there's been two, only two episodes this season that have been fantastic, like fantastic episodes. Episode 5, and then I think the other one was episode 23. So, oh, and to be fair, episode 20 as well, I uh, got an 8. So those three, I'd say, were really great episodes. Uh, especially episode 5, that was still one of my favourite Parade of Lies episodes to date. But overall, it's just had too much of this... Uh, it has like a good episode then it's stale for like three. It has a good episode then it's stale for three. It's kind of like that. Especially in the first hurdle of 5B. It was very slow. It had some abysmal episodes here and there. I, I even thought the mid-season finale was bad. But yeah, like I said, it has had good moments. Like, I'd say Alison, pretty much most of she's done this season has been good. Um, I still wouldn't say I'd love her character or anything, but she's definitely been a highlight of the whole season. Spence has been pretty bland, but she has had moments here and there. Emily, again, she'll be boring for ages, and then she'll have, like, a few really great episodes. Like I said, when she, is, when she has a great story, she's the best character of the entire show. Uh, but the two in and far between is a bit frustrating. Hannah is all over the place. Aria's just been abysmal ever since she accused Hannah of lying when... Uh, Hannah was sexually harassed and then Aura is like, you're lying, you're lying. That just put, that's just put an entire damper on her character for me permanently. Um, I know Hannah's forgiven her and they've kind of moved on from that, but for me it's just like, I don't know, stuff like that just sticks with a character. It, to me that's just the worst thing she's done, like not believing your best friend when she says she was just sexually harassed because I know she didn't want to believe it, but it's like, come on. The way she went about it was awful. And then Mona, I'd say, I know she's going to come back either in the premiere of the next season or maybe even this episode because, like I said, I'm not going to lie, I know she's not dead. But the first half of this season, she was great as well, even though she wasn't in it too much. I'd say surprisingly, I've actually really... A character that surprised me the most has been Mike this season. Um, you know, like, if you've seen the reactions, I didn't care much for Mike at all. Um, up until around season four, he got a little bit better. And then this season, he's, especially 5B, he's been not great. He's not been an amazing character, but he's definitely been good. And then I do actually like the story that they're doing with Spencer and Toby. Spencer and Toby are one of the few couples that hasn't had that repetition of them breaking up and getting back to the repetition of it, you know, over and over and over. Um, I think they've only broken up once. And they're still together at the moment. They're just going through a very rough big rough patch and I think it's very realistic like what Toby's having to deal with and stuff. Other than that I guess Emily dancing was a highlight. Ella, Ella's whole wedding situation was just a mess but Ella's had some good scenes of course. Byron as well like the scene between Byron and Ella where he made her feel better that was a good scene. Yeah I'm just going through my head of like scenes and moments that did actually really work for season five because they are there. I don't want to just bash the entire season for being a pile of shit because it wasn't. It, it had good moments. I just think when you compare them to seasons one to four, definitely, it definitely is the weakest. I thought season four was, but season five, I'd say, has been weaker than that. Anyway, guys, I do want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's still watching these episodes. I know we've been doing them for about a year and a half now as of recording this. Um, coming up to two years actually soon, I think. So I think like June was when I first started it. So I reckon it'll be just over two years by the time we finish it. And I, I pretty much thought it'd be that long anyway when I first started the show. So two more seasons to go after this episode. We can do it. I'm going to get it done and then we'll jump onto the Pretty Little Lies Perfectionist. I'm going to assume season one would have wrapped up by the time I get to the Perfectionists, but that's, that's fine anyway. And then we could do that live, which will be interesting. So anyway, guys, episode 25, the finale of season five. If you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe. And if you do want the full... Oh, uh, actually, boom, almost forgot. YouTube, I will be giving, I guess, the full uncut reaction to this episode for free. Uh, you don't have to be a patron if you want it. So 
Um, it will be linked down below, unless I forget, just remind me. But it should be linked down below in the description, along with the password that you need uh, to watch it. Just thought Someone asked, and I thought, why not? It is, I haven't done it in a while. I think the last time I did it was for one episode in season four, or three even, maybe. Uh, so yeah, full uncut will be for free. And then if you do you know, enjoy that and you want the uncuts to the other episodes for pre Lives and then six and seven, then Patreon will still be linked down below. And, you know, I love all the patrons. You really do help keep this channel, you know, full time. And it really does mean the world. So thank you to you guys. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, let's go. The four of us getting arrested for her murder brings low to a whole new level. Technically, Correct. they think that we're accessories, not killers. Not an accessory is a necklace or a handbag, not a chain gang. No, accessory to the well, factory, that is an actual Amen. thing. <laughs> Do you want me to sugarcoat it or tell you the truth? Well, if I'm going to get through it, I need to know what to expect. Well, the truth, Hannah, will be, the well, you get to do laundry, me. because that's the only scenes we've seen her do in prison. Do they don't care about that. And when they turn those lights out, it is the loneliest feeling you could ever imagine. Second thought, I could have used a thick coat of sugar. You can't be ready for how it feels, Adam. I do think this is cool, though. This is different. To give up on there you go. I'm going to prison. They can take everything from us, but they can't take us from each other. No, they literally can't separate us. I, <laughs> I mean, that's kind of cute, to be fair. I love you guys. Love you. Aww. They don't say that enough. I'm going to give them that. I'm going to give it. Jesus. Yeah, I did in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know. I'm... Oh my god. Is that a Gatling gun? Oh, that's a grenade launcher. I'll smoke it. I mean, fair play. That was a good intro. That was a good intro. Allison's a master manipulator, but she doesn't have access to what was needed to pull off something this elaborate. Why these girls? What would make them somebody's target? No offense, they don't seem that shook that. Well, the good news is Tanner wants to keep this out of the press. Also, they have been kidnapped, so that was actually the parents' reaction to their daughter have been kidnapped. Is that right? Because they, they seem so unbothered. <laughs> oh, no, it's because they've kidnapped her. She's in her own room. Or is it a recreation of a room? Mom? Oh. Mom? It's a, it's a random house. So yeah, that was actually the parents' reaction to their daughter being kidnapped. Okay. Mom, can anybody hear me? <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. I'm not going to try and smash the window or no. Oh yes, Spencer, go on. Is it just wall though? Yeah. Okay. It, I mean, I'm I'm glad she did it though, because that would have just would have just bugged me a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> This is awesome. I think this is Ace House. More like Ace Doll House. Yeah, we're the dolls. Please follow the light. Yeah, path. we got that. <laughs> Please follow the Aurea light. comes out with some bloody face. shit. Oh, God. Cringe. Good shot as well. A good shot. Wow. I can say that. <laughs> is that Alison? Is that you? Or Cece. Ali or Cece. Or maybe not. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> right. GG. Yo, I bet I was shook when that was live. Okay, you know, yeah, fair play. I didn't even spend a moment. I thought maybe she'd pop up in the premiere. Or, like, the end of this episode. Mona? Okay. Okay, okay. I know it's been a while, but I haven't changed that much, have I? I mean, she looks kind of cool with blonde hair, not gonna lie. You guys, it's me, Allison. Don't be a freak, though. <clears throat> Great. Hey, if you cross-check the van's GPS system, <laughs> look the hacking scene. I'm dead right here. I am one step ahead of you. I'm backing up that footage now. I'm just locking it in. FBI, FBI. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> fucking stupid. This is my house. Why are you acting like such an imbecile? Um... Han? It's not like you're gonna gain it all back by eating one cookie. I'm really happy to see you too, Mona. Do not call me that again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know how much I loathe that bitch. Be ready for your date by acquiring an outfit. 
Then you get to open the door and find out who your mystery date is. Sounds like fun. That's right. That's from the ice ball. No, I'm not gonna sit here and play this stupid game. Well, you didn't really have a choice already, so sit down. Okay, you can have us as your precious dolls. But if Caleb shows up here, if you do anything to hurt him, I will kill you. Anna, no, you are not Allison. Great. You're Mona. Honey, you're okay, not in a position not to even pipe up. alone anymore. There are five of us. And one of him, her, it, bitch. Oh, God, it's, that's cringe, Hannah. Hannah's, Hannah's whole here. scene there was just abysmal. <laughs> My name is Allison. Allison De Laurentiis. Mona, let's go. <laughs> I can't take it. Uh. What the, the hacker got hacked. They found a way to overwrite the camera. Of course. He's oh. the for the damn curtain. Goose and Dawn. I need to find Arya and we've got nothing. Nothing. If I can find the maybe I can write a program that will pinpoint the source of the hacker's signal. It just gone to sleep. I mean, this is luxury compared to what where you were going to go. Prison. You get to play games, you get a nice double bed. You get to be with your friends. We've got three minutes. Come on. What? This episode's good. Uh, but Every the, night the main generator shuts it's down like, like got this exactly layer of cringe around the whole thing. Blast the siren until you'd rather die than listen to it one more second. Is my mom okay? Your mom wasn't that bothered, to be fair. It thinks it beat me, but I'm still here. I'm the one who's winning the game. No, you're not. You're locked in a cage. <laughs> You're not winning, you're losing. Is she okay? My mom. Also, why do they now have th why does she know I she has three minutes? Me. Like now. There was a trial. God, Mona, I'm so happy that you're okay. I thought you had three minutes, I'm very confused. Did you hear that? Hear what? We've got 17 seconds, run! Okay. Is Spencer okay. You can drop the whole caring friend act. Great, thanks, no. Exactly who and what you are. Do you know where she is? No. Okay, bye. Answer? <laughs> promise you that guard outside will not be able to save you if you lie to us tonight. Oh, pipe down. You're not going to do anything. I don't know where they are. But I do know who took them. Good acting. There you go. It's the first bit of good acting I've seen in this episode. Not necessarily, but... I'm actually curious who this A is because this A is like done shit, like you know what I mean? They've done shit. Mona was very much just messing around with them, like making them look like shit. Like this Mona's brutal. I mean this A is brutal. That's where you're gonna go off the bot, Charles. What? These reports do prove that someone cyberjacked that vehicle. Right. And I'm betting. Yeah. That is Caleb Rivers. Okay, so you have no proof. I think he knows where his girlfriend is. Okay, so you're again going from no proof, and you're it's just arresting people. Please tell me she gets fired and loses her job, Please, or dies. Me. I mean, that'd be ideal. I'll help you if you help me. Sure. If A doesn't mind, maybe we can all help each other. Starting with these ballots. I'm sure A doesn't mind at all. So dumb. Like, is A meant to be clever? We know about A. Finally. Some parents who do. And we could hang wire from the ceiling and hang shapes, create some beautiful shadows and silhouettes. What's the that plan would be here? The opera. I would be like, um, no, sorry, because that's obviously a plan that you have in mind to Agreed. win one over on me. Hoping to so it's not gonna happen before we do that. A didn't just prey on the girls. Your secrets are in there too. And if you decide to open them, you need to be prepared for those to come out. Oh. No more secrets. He's like, shit, I've got over 45 secrets, I haven't told it yet. Melissa, there's something you need to know. <laughs> I'll lose a mass homework at the back. I don't know any girls because, like Hannah said, there's five of us and one of him. Boom, boom, shake the room. We can use this to make a curtain for Allie's grand entrance. 
Excellente. Um, if you baboons are done fighting, I could use some help over here. Then we can all decorate together. Fair play. I mean, he's very dumb. If I knew where they were, I wouldn't be here right now. I would be with Hannah. I would like to. To be here. Oh, shut but up! You don't. You might not know exactly where they are, but you know more than what you're telling me. Yeah, because no one wants to tell you anything because you don't do anything with it. You do. Okay, son. What if someone did take the curls? And because you haven't considered it, you and your analysts are looking in all the wrong places. Haven't you asked yourself how four? Yeah, the Hastings parents are bossing in this episode. You're not gonna they're quite good when they work together. Fuck. Because they're not running from you. Zero point zero five zero eight north, seven five point four zero four four west. Those are coordinates. That's where the van is. Are you sure about that? So this? dumb. So dumb. <laughs> you know, Jack. Oh my God, yo! <laughs> Thank God there wasn't some more there, Toby. Because with that aim, everyone will be dead. Oh, it's clear. Thank God. Yo, you about had a heart attack. Okay, we do this every time, but we always say it's like the best dress to every like dance or prom. So, let's review. Spencer wins again. There you go. What a tune as well. Banger! Here we go! Allison D. I mean, what? Hey, what these? Come on, it's kind of creepy to be fair. Wait for it. No, don't try and do a plan now. Wait! Just wait. No. Not gonna work. Not gonna work. Too easy. Too easy. Maybe take your heels off. The <laughs> We're all really slow in heels. It's fine. Just take them off. Who's here? Oh, it's clear. Oh, thank God. It is Lair. Out in the moonlight. Wanna say goodnight to your sister? And give her a little kiss? What a good boy you are. Oh, good boys, good boys. We're we gonna get a reveal this episode. That would be good if they actually revealed it this episode. Spencer? That's how far behind they were. Five minutes. Batman. He has a soul. <laughs> Great. Oh, God bless. We've searched the entire property. There's no one here. Then where is this place? Let's find a way to get I thought she was going to be in on it then. I thought she was going to start deleting footage and shit. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. We're still trapped. <laughs> we can climb it. No, you can't. You, you no. Know. That's electric. Yeah. Yo. Start screaming. You're out in the open, so just start being like screaming for help. Maybe. GG, eh? GG. I mean, there's not really much they can do here. I would start screaming for help, though. Unless they're still in, in an actual building. Is that a good or. Oh, God. Oh god, they're in like a forest. Okay, then no no one's hearing them. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, I bet that when when that was live everyone was like popping off at that ending. Like imagine having to wait months for the next one. Jesus. GG. Okay, there we go guys. That is episode 25 of Pretty Little Liar Season 5, the grand finale. <laughs> Um, and yeah, it was it was a good episode. I enjoyed that one. I don't think it was this ten out of ten that people thought I was gonna give for some reason. It's just I don't. If I'm in all honesty, I don't think I've ever given a ten out of ten to a. I've given a couple of a couple of nines, I think. But uh, yeah, very strong finale. Um, very strong episode. For, it'd be up there as like the top three for season five. There was a lot they did really well with this episode. To be fair, there was still a couple of things that were just a bit like oh. 
God, I'll get those two out of the way because they're not that big of a deal, but they kind of are. Let's stop the episode from being like that nine out of ten. Um, the first off, the acting for some reason for not so much the second half of the episode to be fair, but definitely the first half of the episode. It was more cringe than usual. I don't know. The acting just felt off and weird to me. Um, I didn't mind so much Mona because she was meant to be acting like Alison, so she was acting a bit weird in the whole situation anyway. But then they just came out with some cringe lines and stuff that was going on. It was a bit like, oh, God. But that's not that big a deal uh, because the second half they did, you know, it went back into how they usually act, so that was fine. We'll get into what I liked about the dollhouse in a minute, but I thought the middle portion of the dollhouse stuff was boring, where they were just, like, you know, planning out how they were going to escape and getting the tools together and stuff. As soon as the prom bit hit, it was interesting again, and then the first 10 minutes of the dollhouse or 15 minutes of the dollhouse were were interesting as well, but there's like about 10, 15 minutes in the middle. That was a little bit bland. Uh, other than that though, this was a really good episode. Even the outside of the dollhouse stuff with uh, Caleb and bit of Toby was fun to watch, even though they didn't really get much done at the end of the day. They've got the cameras. They know that they're trapped somewhere, but they obviously don't know where. Uh, so I'm, so I'm sure there'll be a search for them and they'll find them. I wonder if it'll be in the next, in the premiere. I'm going to assume it'll be the premiere because I think any longer than two episodes in that dollhouse, it'll get boring. We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see what they do because that's judging for that. But stuff that I liked, uh, the first scene where they were on the way to the prison and they were like, you know, saying that they all loved each other and that they were all kind of nervous and stuff. Um, ob obviously, like, you <laughs> being sent off to prison. That was a really good scene. They don't have many moments like that, all of them together. So, yeah, that, that was a strong scene. Basically, the first 10 minutes were fantastic the first 10 minutes were probably the strongest of the whole episode like then as soon as like they woke up in recreate recreations of their own room uh i thought that was really cool and it's all like still a prison though like it was still um lock them off and when spencer threw the chair through the window but there was just a wall kind of that was, that was really creepy uh i kind of thought that would be the case but that was really well done and then when they had like the light, the lights that they had to follow and they all had their own rooms and they all came out and met together and they're still in their prison suits as well. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, and then up to the point where they basically had Mona take the mask off and she had returned, which I knew I knew it was going to be a matter of time. I didn't know how, I didn't know when, um, but I knew she was going to come back at some point and there you go. So I can see why people really, really loved this episode, like especially with that reveal on top of everything else that was really good about the episode because... It, it was well done with the reveal and it's good to have it back. And then Alice, I really liked, I actually really liked the Hastings, the parents this episode, like where they were teaming up with Caleb and they had that conversation with Alison. I thought uh, the actress who plays Alison, I forgot her name, uh, but she did a really good job in that scene. It's kind of annoying that that was the only scene she had this episode, but she was really good in that scene and so were the Hastings parents. Like when they, when those two team up together, they were good, they were good. Uh, hopefully we get more of that, but I doubt it because Pretty Little Lies always does that where they have like a really good pair up for one episode and then you never see it again, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but that was good stuff. Toby and Caleb, really good. The cop did absolutely nothing again. So I, I thought she was going to start deleting stuff because then if she was in on everything, that would make a lot more sense as to why she's been such an awful cop. But then it would still be completely unbelievable, obviously, but it would make a bit more sense as to why she's so bad as a cop. But no, she's actually trying. Believe it or not, she's actually trying, and it's weird because she's so bad. Yeah, and then the whole dollhouse stuff, it got, it got a little bit boring in the mid. No, I won't say boring, I wasn't not bored out of my mind, like, uh, but it was a little bit stale in the middle. Uh, and then it picked up again in the last 10 minutes when the prom happened, and then they escaped, and then I like the bit where they walked out, and there's basically just a fence, and then they're covered in the forest. So even if they do scream for help, like I was telling them to do, no one's going to hear them. Like, that's. Yeah, I don't know how they're getting out of that one, to be fair. Whew. It's going to depend on someone on the outside to come and find them, I think, instead of them. I wonder if we'll do a time skip as well. Like, it'll be like, maybe not like a year, a year later, it might be a bit excessive, but let's say like a month later or something. That'd be that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, actually, actually a very strong finale. Um, probably one of the better finales of the show, I'd say. Had a lot of reveals there. I think the recreation of this whole dollhouse, as they called it, uh, and the, on the boards it was like, welcome home. Thought that was really cool. We still didn't get a reveal though, so still dragging that out into season six, which is a bit of a shame. It would have that would have just been the cherry on top of this episode if they actually 
revealed who A was. We got this clue that they were called Charles, and then they had like old footage of them running around with what, who I think was Alison's mom. Because part of me is like, it's the person that Ori has been dating. Like he's up to something shady. He could be A, um, and it would work in the the age thing because he was a kid there in the video. Uh, so is he? I'm probably way off with this, but it seems like he is Alison's brother, and he's A, or at least involved in A in some way. I don't know. Don't know if I'm really missing on something on that. But I'm sure you could really pick apart this entire episode and get the answer, but I'm obviously not going to. I'm just going to watch the premiere of season six um, later this week anyway. Hmm, there we go, guys. Very strong ending as well. Like, if I was watching that live and that was how it ended, I'd be like, yo, I need season six premiere now. And that's what you want on a good uh, cliffhanger like that. So, Free Little Lies does that quite, quite well. To be fair, at the end of a the season, they always have a strong cliffhanger ready for the next season i'll give it that overall i think this episode could have been a nine out of ten if they made the dollhouse a lot more interesting then it it was just him trying to recreate a prom it was just a bit like okay but we did have mona in there and i liked all the recreations of the rooms and the dark alleys with the lights kind of leading them to where they needed to go i think if that was a lot more eerie though like if it's eerie and creepy and it was like say a bit more interesting then it could have been a nine out of ten but sadly it, was, it got a bit you basically saw the entire dollhouse in about five seconds. Um, maybe I did, maybe there'll be more in season six, but um, yeah, it was a bit so so. But it, it still had really great moments then. So I'm going to give this one, I'll go, hmm. I'm going to go 8.4 out of 10. So I think that's the second highest rated episode of this season. So yeah, ep the best episode is episode five then this episode, then episode 23, then episode 20. I um, think that's right. So to be fair, Fredo Lies had a strong last five episodes. I think there's still a couple of sevens in there, but at least there weren't any like fives. So thank God for that. <laughs> so I think season five started off really strong. Then it dipped down dramatically for a long time. Like basically the entire middle portion of season five was like, just bad. And then it picked back up towards the end, which is, is a good thing. At least, so at least we can't. We're not giving this entire season a one out of ten. I'd say overall, boom. <laughs> I'm gonna give season five. Hmm. Hmm. Let me think. Pretty all nice. I think I gave season four like a. Did I give it a six? Maybe I can't remember exactly like what point. I, I think it was like a six, but is it like a six point something? Part of me is like, do I give it a five? like a high five no because even even the bad episodes of this show like i still had enjoyment even though i was just like kind of slating it a little bit uh a little bit you know i was still getting enjoyment out of those bad episodes because they were funny i think so i get i think i gave season four like a six point something i'll give this one just a six out of ten but then if i gave season four just a six out of ten i'd give this a high five if that makes sense so i'm gonna go six out of ten for now but Remind me in the comments of this video what exact rating I gave season four because season four was better than this and I don't want them to be on the same rating. <laughs> Just to like make that one clear. So it's either a six out of ten or a five point seven, I guess. Maybe I will go like a five point I'll go five point eight out of ten. I'm gonna go five point eight out of ten. I might give it a six if I think about it. But we'll go five point eight for now. The strongest season still here, judging by this is season two. So yeah, uh, characters, okay, so I was thinking about this for a little bit, and I might mix it up a bit, but I want to give number one to Spencer still, even though this was her weakest season, um, because even though her stories weren't great, her character was still good, if that makes sense. So I'm still going to give the number one spot to Spencer. Number two, I'm going to give to Mona. Number three is Emily because again even though she doesn't have actually no I'm gonna give number three and I never thought I'd say this but I'm gonna give number three to Alison like I said I don't love her character but she is just by far the most interesting one um, and she's had the strongest stories in this season the only reason she's not a bit more higher up is because I'm still you know sorry about seasons one to four and how annoying she was but season five, they, especially 5B, they did a really good job with her. You know, she wasn't in a lot of it, but I'd still say she's definitely interesting. So three would be Alison, then Emily, 
Emily the same reason. She when she has a good story, she's a really good character. When she doesn't, she's abysmal. Arya and Hannah are not in my top five anymore. Um, so I'll give number five to. Part of me wants to say Ella, but I just have a soft spot for Ella. So she's like an honourable mention, kind of like above the rest. She's like an angel goddess looking over all of them. But I think actual character wise, number five would be. I'm torn between. See, it would be Toby, but again, he hasn't had the best season. So I'm going to go... I'm probably going to go Caleb or Mike. It's between Caleb and Mike. I think overall, every season combined, Caleb will be number five. I think this season alone, Mike will be number five. So overall, I'm going to give it to Caleb as number five. But Mike, uh, in this season, would be my fifth, fifth, fifth favourite character. Uh, Arya will never be in my top five again. And Hannah's just had a really, really bad season overall like she's actually pissed me off quite a lot this season um Ezra hasn't been as annoying as he was in other seasons but he's still I just really don't care for Ezra and Toby I do really like his character to be fair but he was not in this season barely he was barely in the season at all so there we go thanks for watching guys leave a like if you enjoyed I will be back soon for the premiere of season six two more to go two more seasons I think 40 more episodes, which sounds like a lot, but I think overall we're about seven, almost 75% of the way through the show, which is insane. We have done 120 episodes out of 161. That's insane. That is the most episodes I've ever done to a show on this channel. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, peace.